You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Indians cherish their own culture, but they have equally embraced other cultures as well. And especially when it comes to food, they are always ready to give a try. A similar scene was witnessed in Hyderabad city, where an Iranian food fest drew a number of visitors to relish the authentic Iranian cuisines. Food culture and lifestyle in India is influenced a lot by other nations as people from foreign lands had brought with themselves their food habits and lifestyle to this great land. Indian cuisine is probably one of the most diverse cuisines around the world. Indians therefore are always on a lookout for new delicacies that provide a whole new experience to their taste buds. One such cuisine that has influenced a wide variety of dishes in India, especially meat curries and desserts, is the Persian or Iranian cuisine. Recently, natives of Hyderabad city of Telangana got soaked in mesmerizing taste of this cuisine at the Iranian food festival. Iran and uh, Hyderabad, Iran and South India, they have uh, uh, lots of uh, cultural uh, um, manifestation in common. Um, and uh, back in history, uh, we were uh, share uh, even uh, uh, in a language, uh, Farsi language used to spoken here in Hyderabad. Uh, and uh, food is one of the uh, most aspect of uh, uh, each country's culture. So we thought that it would be a good idea if we uh, present uh, uh, authentic Iranian food here in Hyderabad. Uh, actually, it's the first time that a, a festival like this is happening here in Hyderabad. Organized by the Consulate General of Iran at the Tridin Hotel in Hyderabad, the festival aimed at introducing Indian citizens to authentic Irani cuisine. The spread of Irani delicacies were prepared by Chef Mona Purdarai, who has flown in specially for the festival. Mouth-watering Iranian delicacies like juji kebab, saffron naan, karmani roti, goat meat sabzi and saffron sherbet were included in the menu. Citizens found similarities between Irani and Indian cuisine and enjoyed the food and the feel of the festival. It was nice. It was, the palate is quite different. It's very different from the Indian palate. So the flavors are very different. So it was pretty flavorful. But it takes some getting used to. But uh, after a few bites, you kind of get used to the flavors. It was quite nice and mellow after a bit. So how do you find it different from Hyderabadi food? So I think Hyderabadi food is way more spicy. There's more masala. But I think the flavors here are more mellow, more soft. So after a few bites, you notice that taste difference. I especially like the breads. The breads are very different from the breads you get in Hyderabad. Uh, but the gravies are more softer on your flavors. So I think that's one big difference that they're not as masaledar as a Indian gravy or a Hyderabadi gravy. Such events not only help people to know about other cultures and connect with them, but also help in strengthening bilateral ties between nations. Having mutual tolerance and regards for each other's belief is a characteristic of Indian society. Several examples can be found across the nook and corner of the country who are keeping it alive. One among them can be witnessed in the Varanasi city of Uttar Pradesh, where a group of Muslim women have been for years lighting up the Diwali night of the Hindu brethren by making beautiful cow dung lamps. Have a look. As Hindus across the country observed the festival of lights, Diwali, the people of other faiths too were not behind in contributing to the occasion, setting a wonderful example of communal harmony. 
In Varanasi city of Uttar Pradesh, Muslim women took a unique initiative to strengthen the mutual brotherhood by preparing Diwali lamps with the name Ramdeep. Associated with Muslim Mahila Foundation, these women use cow dung and mud to prepare the lamps and then make them attractive using natural colors, stars and other artifacts. They say through this initiative they want to spread the ideals of Lord Ram in the entire world. आज हम सभी हिंदू मुस्लिम बहनें मिलकर के गाय के गोबर और मिट्टी से दिया बना रहे हैं जिससे हम लोग एक तरफ से गौ संरक्षण का और पर्यावरण संरक्षण दोनों का संदेश दे रहे हैं ये इस पर हम लोग रंगों से राम लिख रहे हैं और ये राम नाम रूपी जो दीपक है ये नफरत के अंधियारों को मिटाने का काम करेगा आज पूरी दुनिया को राम के आदर्शों पर चलने की ज़रूरत है उनके बताए हुए आदर्शों पर रास्ते पर चलने की जरूरत है जहाँ पर पूरी दुनिया में हिंसा हो रही है नफरत हो रही है धर्म के नाम पर लोग एक दूसरे का गला काट रहे हैं आज हम वहीं ये सभी बहनें मिल कर के ये राम नाम रूपी दिया तैयार कर रही हैं और पूरी दुनिया को संदेश दे रही हैं कि हम कहीं पर भी पृथक नहीं हो सकते अलग नहीं हो सकते जो भी भारत में जन्मे हैं उनके पूर्वज राम हैं वो अपने पूर्वजों को कभी भी बदल नहीं सकते These Muslim women, accompanied by their Hindu sisters, continue their work amid Ram bhajans. Once the lamps are made, they then self-distribute them to the eminent people and Hindu families of the city. In addition to this, around 108 lamps prepared by these Muslim women also find a place at Ayodhya's Deepotsav celebration, where one can find the largest display of oil lamps. हम सारे लोग यहाँ मिलकर के एकता का दीपक बना रहे हैं जो कि सारे घरों में रोशन रोशनी करेंगे और हम सारे लोग मुस्लिम बहनें अपने हिंदू भाइयों को घर पे ये दीपक पहुँचाएंगे और उनको ये संदेश देंगे एकता का कि हम सारे लोग अलग नहीं हैं बल्कि एक हैं जहाँ भारत में हम लोग जन्म लिए हैं तो यहाँ पर चाहे हिंदू हो चाहे मुसलमान हो प्रभु श्री राम सबके वंश सबके पूर्वज हैं तो हम सारे लोग खुशी मनाएंगे दीपावली के मौके पर और ये दीपक बन करके हमारा वहाँ अयोध्या में जाएगा वहाँ प्रभु श्री राम की नगरी में जलेगा जिससे भी ये भी संदेश जाएगा कि हम सारे लोग एकता की मिसाल कायम कर रहे हैं और बनारस हमेशा से गंगा जमुनी तहजीब की मिसाल पेश करता आया है तो इस बार भी हम लोगों ने ये काम किया है डूइंग इट फॉर लास्ट मेनी इयर्स दीज वन आर नॉट जस्ट गिविंग आउट लाउड द मैसेज ऑफ पीस गुडविल एंड हारमनी बट आर ऑल्सो प्रमोटिंग एन इको फ्रेंडली दिवाली Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Kashmir made willow bats have made it to the ongoing ICC T20 World Cup. Some players of the Oman cricket team use Kashmiri bats in their T20 World Cup fixture. Although the local bat industry has been there for decades, this is the first time that any international player has used a Kashmiri made willow bat. Expressing his happiness, Fazal Kabir Dar, the owner of Kashmir-based sports company in Anantnag, said that we are working hard so that more teams chose to play with our bats. हमारे ग्रेट स्पोर्ट्स की जो इक्विपमेंट एंड बैट्स हैं तो ये ओमान की क्रिकेट टीम ने वर्ल्ड कप में उतारा है तो ये अभी आने वाले और भी मुल्क उतारेंगे और इंटरनेशनल टीम्स इसमें खेलेंगी और ये चीज़ के लिए हम पूरी कोशिश करे हुए हैं कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड साउथ अफ्रीका जो भी क्रिकेट प्लेइंग नेशनस हैं तो सब धीरे धीरे हमारे बैट को ऑप्ट करें हमारे इक्वमेंट को ऑप्ट करें ताकि हमारी इकोनॉमी इससे थोड़ी ग्रो हो सके Kashmir is a hub of hundreds of willow bat manufacturing units from where they are sold in different parts of India and abroad. There are more than 300 bat manufacturing units in Jammu and Kashmir's Anantnag district and the way one of their counterparts has earned an international recognition. It is an inspiration for all of them. An ex-Indian Army service member has garnered laurels for his dedicated mission to make Odisha's Jajpur green with plantation. Kirod Jena has been planting saplings and protecting the greenery around the city from cattle grazing for the last 16 years. The 54-year-old ex-Army man has planted over 20,000 fruit-bearing trees, which include a range of varieties such as mango, guava, jamun, and jackfruit. at public places and roads in at least 11 villages 
Since his retirement in 2005, Jaina had been spending close to rupees 10,000 each month towards environmental conservation initiatives, protecting and restoring nature. In the first of its kind experience, a floating theater has recently come up at Jammu and Kashmir iconic the lake. To promote tourism in the region, the government took the initiative of turning the illuminated houseboats into seats, combining picturesque the lake into a floating theater. During the inaugural program, the famous Bollywood film Kashmir ki Kali was screened at the floating theater. I think uh, this is a one of a kind experience jo ke not only showcase kar sakta hai beauty of Kashmir but jo film industry associated rahi hai Kashmir ki which we have only been able to see in movies aur aaj hum yahan par dal lake ke beech mein baith ke house boat ke beech mein itni khoobsurat movie dekh rahe hain itni khoobsurat environment ji Kashmir ki kali to I think it's a very good experience Kashmir has been one of the favorite destinations for Bollywood filmmakers addressing the scenic valley as a photographer's paradise. India is a vast country with people of different class, creed and cultures residing on its land. This sheer variety tells us the story of unity and solidarity that the country stands up for. So celebrating this beautiful unification of different religions in our country an event run for unity was recently organized in Jammu and Kashmir Srinagar city where people ran together to spread the message of peace and happiness all around have a look donning their sport outfits and immersed in high spirit and enthusiasm more than 700 people of different age groups and faiths lined up at the banks of famous dal lake in Srinagar to participate in the marathon team das run for unity the half marathon was organized by jammu and kashmir police on the occasion of national unity day this day is observed to mark the birth anniversary of sardar vallabhbhai patel the man who played an important role in the unification of our country and is popularly known as the iron man of india aimed at spreading peace and brotherhood across all faiths and communities such events are being organized by the jammu and kashmir police on regular basis aap jante hain jammu kashmir police khas taur pe armed police ki taraf se hum log naujawan bachchon ke liye buzurgon ke liye chote bachchon ke liye sabke liye koi na koi program organize karte rehte hain isse pehle jashn e dal ka program aapne dekha cycle race dekha जिस और आज का ये जो प्रोग्राम रन फॉर पीस और रन फॉर यूनिटी आज आपको पता है कि नेशनल लेवल पे यूनिटी डे भी है जहां पर हम लोग सब हब हर बरादरी हर भाईचारा मिलके एक दूसरे के साथ मुल्क की तरक्की और सलामियत के लिए काम करने के लिए प्लेज लेते हैं कसम लेते हैं वो दिन भी है आज आज के प्रोग्राम में कुछ सात से ज़्यादा बच्चों ने बुजुर्गों ने बच्चियों ने और सब तरह की जो कैटेगरीज में लोगों ने हिस्सा लिया Later an impressive prize distribution ceremony was held in which the winners of different events were honored with cash prizes and trophies by chief guest Dilbagh Singh DGP of Jammu and Kashmir Police The initiative by the Jammu and Kashmir Police was highly appreciated by the participants especially the different abled ones who said that more such events should be organized keeping them in focus तो आज जो हमने यहाँ पे रेस की पार्टिसिपेट किया जितने भी स्पेशल एवर्ड पर्सन थे हमारी बास्केटबॉल टीम थी क्रिकेट टीम था तो दोनों ने हमें पार्टिसिपेट यहाँ पे किया व्हील बाउंड थे और एम्पूटीज थे बहुत अच्छा लगा एंजॉयमेंट बहुत हुआ बहुत खुशी हुई कि आज हमें हमें यहाँ पे ढूंढा गया हम जैसे लोगों को अब बाहर यहाँ पे मौका मिल रहा है यहाँ पे जो रेस थी आज तक मैंने कभी किसी रेस में पार्टिसिपेट नहीं किया है बट आज जो रेस थी बहुत अच्छा लगा हमने पार्टिसिपेट भी किया एंजॉय भी किया बहुत मजा आया बट मैं अपनी एल सरकार से ये रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ हम जैसे लोगों के लिए काम हो यहाँ पे क्योंकि टैलेंट यहाँ पे बहुत है डिसेबल पर्सन जितने भी बच्चे यहाँ पे टैलेंट बहुत है इंडिया में देखो जहां से भी गोल्ड मेडल स्टार है वो स्पेशल पर्सन बहुत बड़े गोल्ड मेडल आए हैं पर हम भी गोल्ड मेडल लाना चाहते हैं पर हमें मौका चाहिए हम लोग अपनी एलजी सरकार से आपकी मदद से गुजारिश करते हैं कि हमें और मौका दे दिया जाए ताकि हम भी अपने लिए कुछ कर सके अपना पहचान अपने जे का नाम रोशन कर सके इवेंट्स लाइक रन फॉर यूनिटी प्ले एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन स्ट्रेंथनिंग दॉन्ड ऑफ वन अमंग पीपल and thus should be organized on regular basis 
to spread brotherhood and harmony among all. With rapid climatic changes and skyrocketing pollution levels, countries all over the globe are taking various steps at ground level to curb the problem. India too is no behind in contributing to the cause. One of the major steps being taken is that of establishing garbage cafes that collect plastic waste in exchange for food. Recently, 22 such garbage cafes have been set up at an area in New Delhi by the Municipal Corporation. Take a look. One may have heard of organic cafes, book cafes or vegan cafes. But the concept of garbage cafes is comparatively a less heard one. Opened with the motive of curbing the issues of plastic waste, garbage cafes run on the concept of giving food items in exchange of plastic. Recently, the North Delhi Municipal Corporation has opened 22 such garbage cafes in the Karol Bagh area of New Delhi. जो लेयल वाबा हम तो बट बीर तो होता नहीं पर जो जिसकी जैसे हो जिस जो चीज खानी हो उसको रुकाए कर देते हैं भैया ले जा भी तेरा बंद कर ले जा हाँ ना भी जैसा जो खाए जैसे समोसा ले लिया किसी को चोड़ी दे दी किसी को भटूरा दे दी किसी को बंडा दे दिया ये मीठा खाना उसको मीठा दे दिया ले जा भैया चलो the North Delhi Municipal Corporation has tied up with 22 cafes that will provide food to people in exchange for 1 kg of plastic waste. While different municipalities in the states of Gujarat and Chhattisgarh had already begun exchanging food for plastic waste, the concept came to the national capital in February 2020. The step has been taken in accordance to Prime Minister's vision of Swachh Bharat. फरवरी 2020 के अंदर ये शुरुआत हुई है और पूरे देश के अंदर नरेंद्र मोदी जी के आवान पे कि प्लास्टिक को मुक्त करना है उसी में उत्तरी दिल्ली नगर निगम ने ये प्लास्टिक को खत्म करने के लिए दुकानदारों को एक लिस्ट 23 दुकानदारों की करोल बाग जोन के अंदर दी है ये प्लास्टिक खत्म होना चाहिए ये प्लास्टिक जो है ये बोतल के रूप में किसी भी वेस्ट प्लास्टिक जो है वो गांव माता भी इसको खा जाती है जो कि बड़ा नुकसान होता है ये प्लास्टिक से मुक्ति मिलनी चाहिए It is expected that the initiative will motivate the citizens of Delhi to come forward and reduce the city's plastic waste and play their part in the fight against pollution at last, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Global company in the soy sauce industry, Kikoman, has acquired the majority of Japanese and world soy sauce market. It functions quite similarly to Japanese traditional food culture, fermentation, and ensures the natural brewing of Kikoman soy sauce. The traditional Japanese brewing process known as Honjozo is used in the making of this soy sauce. Kikoman soy sauce is Honjozo soy sauce, which means naturally brewed soy sauce. And what naturally brewed? We use only four natural ingredients and using the power of a microorganism to ferment those ingredients, namely soybeans, wheat, salt, and water. So just four ingredients, so quite simple, but actually taste is very, very complex. Uh, that fermentation is very interesting process, and uh, with fermentation, uh, we achieve soy sauce uh, now has uh, five basic taste, all of them, uh, which is saltiness, sweetness, sourness, bitterness, and umami. And also, in terms of uh, aroma, we uh, actually, Kikuman soy sauce has more than 300 aromatic compounds, so it's quite complex. So it's the uh, very interesting part of Honjozo soy sauce. The speciality of the natural fermentation method is that it brings out the deliciousness that cannot be attained by chemical seasoning. 
Hong Jozo soy sauce like us, and of course, uh, another things uh, like a chemically produced soy sauce. The difference is I can explain in just one word: quality. And uh, during the fermentation, uh, we could achieve very complex flavor and aroma of Hong Jozo soy sauce, and uh, that complexity is the reason why uh, Kikoman soy sauce is good with many different kind of cuisine or many different kind of dishes. Uh, on the other side, um, that those chemically made soy sauce, it takes only a few days to a week to produce, uh, but uh, the taste is not really complex. So uh, we are proud of using that method and uh, uh, for the future that this we continue to provide a high quality soy sauce to the world. Kikoman's natural fermentation soy sauce method brings out a deliciousness which is loved by people around the world. More than 130 horseback riders from 15 countries competed in the gallops of Jordan, an orienteering and endurance equestrian race that took place in the kingdom's renowned desert of Wadi Rum. Held for five days, the race saw participants aged between 15 and 70 years old galloping over 200 kilometers. Many celebrities also took part in the event, including Jordanian Princess Jalila bint Ali, Miss France 2015 Camille Cerf and Emeline Pomentier, a prominent Belgian jockey whose legs were amputated as a result of a car accident. الحدث هذا في الأردن طبعا من أكبر تجمع خيل اللي هي خيل وفرسان إحنا الفرسان تقريبا كانت الهدف تبع التجوال الأردن أن يكون يعني هدف رياضي وسياحي بنفس الوقت. Gallops of Jordan is a fourth edition of the race which was previously held in Oman, Morocco and India. Japanese people enjoy gardening as a hobby in the leisure time. Recently, the latest gardening products were exhibited at the International Garden Expo held near Tokyo. This year's expo featured tools used in gardening, ideal products to beautify your garden and various eco-friendly products. This is a dome house that can be installed in the garden, enabling owners to create their own special place. お家時間があの増えたっていうこともあって、あの皆さん家庭でガーデニングをする機会が増えたっていうことでですね、あの非常にあの出店製品が幅広くて、郊外にやっぱりこう出てあの移住をしたりだとかっていうことで結構広い